I didn't really start to create art until I was about 27. Um, I came very late to art, but in many ways, my first memories of making art, like most people, are as a child, um, painting, drawing as a child. But in some ways, I, my first really powerful memory of paint is watching my father paint a door. And I was about four. And we were living in London, in Finsbury Park, and he got this tin of paint. I'd never seen a tin of paint before. And he, he opened it up and there was this wonderful smell. You know, it was like gloss paint. And it, it, I remember the color, it was a, like a maroon color. God knows what he painted with that, but you know, whatever it was, that was the paint. And, it, and I remember being absolutely fascinated by this purity in the can. It, it was just absolutely captivating. And I, that's a very clear memory of a, I was very young. I, mean, I may not even been four years of age. And uh, yeah, that, that, that's, that's a very powerful memory. I, I define that experience as almost 99% work and 1% inspiration. And in fact, it may be 99.5% work, 0.5% inspiration. It really is hard work for me. And sometimes it is like pulling teeth. I, 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 you know, it, sometimes it's not fun. You know, people say, oh, we have such great fun in the studio. You know, it's great. Those, those moments are few and far between, I find. Well, it's, it, it's interesting this because I was thinking about this just the other day and it's a phrase and I think I read it somewhere and the phrase is won't go till it's put and I've tried to google where I found that and I can't find it anywhere I cannot find it anywhere and it sounds like a piece of like West Texas you know it sounds like you know won't go till it's put you know what I mean and but I remember hearing it decades ago somewhere, or reading it, and I thought to myself, do you know, that's really, really good advice because it's, it just says you've got to try something and you don't know until you try it. Now, as a painter, as a creator of images, sometimes, I, I mean, I meld things together. I, I kind of, you know, it's collage or, you know, I kind of, and I sometimes throw a spanner in the picture I'll throw it in, and I don't know if it's going to work, but I won't know till I put it there. And so it, it's a very strange thing. I think you can apply that to many aspects of, well, I think you could probably apply that to all kinds of art. It's about taking a chance. It's about taking risk. And I think that's, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an artist, I think you have to take risks. I mean, I could never paint the same picture year after year. And a lot of people can, that's fair enough. I mean, it's almost like a zen light thing where they, they can make, you know, like Mirandi, it seemed to paint little pots and things like that. And they're beautiful paintings, but I could not do that. I just could not do that. So I, I tend to be more, you know, um, it's like Picasso, you know, you have to kind of destroy to create sort of thing. And you have to take risks. And I think as an artist, that's something you have to do. You got to, and you have to be prepared to make some real rubbish art sometimes. I think it's really important. You've got to make rubbish because it's only by failing that you, you've got a chance of succeeding. You have to, you have to be prepared to fail.